You are a truly remarkable community. I um, was elected about four years ago, and um, as you know, in my constituency on Parliament Street, there's a group of businesses known as Little Jaffna, and that's really been the original point of arrival as St. Jamestown and Toronto Centre has been for so many people. And in the early years when Tamils started arriving, many of them were branded as terrorists. And the struggle to be recognized as liberators was a very difficult one. Many of us remember the lonely times for the Tamil community when people gathered on the Gardener a few years ago, trying to draw somewhat desperately the world's attention to friends and family who were being killed in Mali Valkal and in, in Black July and in a series of events going back to the 80s. That sense of helplessness, that sense of feeling alone in the world was very difficult. It is interesting in Canadian history, most of us have powerful symbols for our human equality and it isn't lost on us when we see these things going on in the world today. In Ukraine, and my mother came here to Hamilton in 1908, went back to try and repatriate her farm back in Ukraine. It had been confiscated by the Soviets at that time and then came back here again to start her life over in Canada for a second time. She was never treated as a Canadian. She barely spoke English. She wore a babushka. She cleaned washrooms and stairwells for a living, had nine children, two who died very young. Today, she couldn't come to Canada. She doesn't speak English or French. She doesn't have a university education. I remember when I was mayor of Winnipeg, we, Jim Carr, who was president of the Council of Chief Executive Officers, started a project of, amongst business leaders, and they asked all of the business leaders to pretend they were immigration officers. And we interviewed all the famous people in Winnipeg, our greatest ballets, our greatest business leaders and artists. 90% of them would not be allowed into Canada today. That's not a cheap political shot at any party. That's been the reality for a couple of decades now. 70% of the GDP of our country was created by immigrants who came to this country with minimal skills and didn't speak any other language. The reason they were here, they were leaving genocide, the Holocaust. They were escaping Chile and the Pinochet game. They were, they were escaping from Cambodia, Bosnia, Rwanda. Every one of those horror stories led us to these shores. The Tamil tradition of fighting for dignity and safety and security and human rights is, is quite remarkable. It continues, as some of my friends, my federal counterparts said, I think Mr. Adler said it quite well, we really all have to be Tamils today. But we also have to change our immigration policies. We have some real challenges there. We're not the Canada we once were. We're not the sanctuary for the world, in my mind, the way we once were. We need people badly in this country, uh, and we need to get back to not looking at what's in people's wallets or how literate they are or how many languages they speak. We have to get back to the kind of spirit, I think, that, that built this country. Here in Ontario, I, I've been had the great pleasure to work with you. You mentioned the, the tree planting. That's, I think, a powerful symbol for all of us because it reminds us that we have roots. When we plant those trees, that's the same planet that people in Sri Lanka walk on. It's the same plant, planet right now that gay people trying to get liberation in Russia are trying to get. Thanks. It is that sense of basic inherent justice and welcoming that we are trying to do. It also speaks because when those leaves come up under those bright winter skies, or bright summer skies rather, it gives us a sense of celebration and some hope because that same sunshine eventually shines on other people. Premier Wynn could not be here tonight. She, as you know, is quite close to many people in the community and in her constituency, she has a significant Tamil representation. But I'd like to share with you this, uh, her words uh, and from the Premier of Ontario. She writes, on behalf of the Government of Ontario, I'm delighted to extend, and I didn't bring my reading glasses, I apologize. This may be a bit of a challenge. On behalf of the Government of Ontario, 
I am delighted to extend warm greetings uh, to the members of the National Council of Canadian Tamils and everyone attending uh, the fundraising dinner in support of human rights campaign for the 25th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council uh, in Geneva. I'm not going to go on and read the whole thing because I think time is getting short, but maybe I could just share this with you. And thank you very much. My, see my friend Mohan there. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless and keep you all safe.